All right, how's it going, everyone? So the UFC UFC 5 official trailer reveals dropped today, so I thought, why well, don't I take a look at it with you at the same time? First time I've ever done anything like this for a trailer, so without further ado, let's watch the trailer and see what it's going to show us. First time looking at this for me. Game engine footage. So we're on the Frostbite engine now, I think. Shevchenko there. Wow, look at those Prime logos in your face already. You want to buy some Prime? I mean, I don't want to, like, fawn over the graphics because we should be on next gen now, so this should look really good. So I'm not going to sit here and go, whoa, look at the graphics. I mean, it looks nice and it should look nice. And if this is anything what it looks like during the actual gameplay, that's a huge step up. Chandler and uh, McGregor there. Volkanovski and Makachev. Nice little scramble animation there from the armbar. Bit of ground and pound. They did say they're going to make this a like M M rated M for mature game, so a lot of these cuts they're showing off as well. This is good. I, I want a, a lot of loads. I want a lot of cuts in the game. get to see that cringe cunt Adesanya in the trailer more than I'd like, as real as it gets. We got John Jones, that's John Jones. Looking good, player model looks good. Oh, look who it is. I, had, uh, I wasn't sure if that was true or not, that we, that we were going to be getting Fedor. Let me just pause that. The Last Emperor, Fedor Emelianenko, Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. Pre-order deluxe edition and receive three days early access and more. Is that it? I mean, I'm very intrigued by Fado being in it. YouTube got... Premium is ad free. Fuck off YouTube Premium. YouTube and you... I'm very interested about Fado being involved in the game because he's never normally wanted anything to do with the UFC. Um and also have you paid attention that he had like he was wearing a pride glove, and that doesn't necessarily mean pride mode is coming back. Because you could equip the UFC, uh, sorry, the Pride Gloves in UFC 4 as like a shitty unlockable. That was the only sort of, apart from the Pride shorts as well. So that doesn't necessarily mean Pride's come on back. I mean, it's just going to be see weird seeing Fedor in a UFC cage. Like, I know he fought in like uh, like Bellator and Strike Force and events outside of the UFC, but... I'd love to see it. It'd be a shame if they didn't bring back Pride Mode, like first next gen version of the game. And I, I, like just adding Pride Mode would be fucking awesome. Like, just having another look at this. Is that you? Is that Nunes's model? Are, are they all the same models from like from the previous games? I don't know. They just like retextured them and stuff like that, and. Added like a, a, a next gen lick of paint on them, or are the actual models being redone again. Had a sign you're looking like fucking Grace Jones from one of the James Bond movies. Little ground elbow there. There was talk of them putting that back in, the ground elbows. Like, I wonder if that's, if that's like a cutscene that's been made for the game just using the in-game engine. Or it's an actual... I think it is. I mean, it's like if you think about their Battlefield trailer and stuff like that. They, they'd like to put at the bottom of the screen, oh, it's like in-game footage, but it's like a special sort of, like, cutscene that has been made for the game using... The, I don't know. I'm not too sure. I mean, it, it looks pretty good, but that looked very cutscene-y. It, it didn't look like, I don't know, animations that you'd get in, in the actual fight. Do you know what I mean? Let's watch it one more time and then I'll call it a video. There's not really much else to talk about. See, when they normally say game engine foot, I'm just thinking of like the Battlefield 5 trailer and they did that like big elaborate uh, like sequence with the with the in-game engine, but it was all 
it was like a, a, a cutscene, basically. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like this is the same here. I know what we're, we're gonna get a full, a proper gameplay reveal eventually. So don't want to get like too excited over this. The only thing that is interesting is the fact that Fedor is in it. You know, and just by adding him, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be a good game. You know, there's. You can have a roster of a million fighters, but if the gameplay is fucking wank, then it doesn't matter how many fighters you've got in the game. I say that to the undisputed people, that, like, they, they come in my comment section with lists of, like, I want this fighter in the game, I want, like, that's that's not going to make the game better. The, the game has to be good from the ground up, at it's core mechanic, so... Adding fighters just fucking... It doesn't solve the fix it, like, make it a better game, but... Just uh, when I see Fedor, I think of Pride, and when I, th I just I want Pride mode back in the game. That's the only thing that I get excited about when I see him. But like I said, it doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be in the game. But they're going to have, so have to have some kind of other mode. You know, if you think we've had like the backyard bullshit mode, uh, the Kumite bullshit, and they're not going to carry that over to this game. So they're going to have to have something different. So why not have Pride mode? Gameplay reveal coming soon. Pre-order, deluxe edition, and receive three days early access and more. All right, that's that. I'm gonna. Uh, I've signed up for the uh, for the closed beta of this, but I don't know if I'll get selected for it. But I'll keep you up to date if I do. But I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.